Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is going to be very similar to yesterday's because we're going to use the CSS transform property skew y to skew an element across the y axis. So we still have this old blue element here that we have since skewed to 24 degrees and now it appears that we're going to skew y. Uh, yeah, it's given that the skew x function skews the selected element along the x axis by a given degree, it is no surprise that y uh, skews the element along the y-axis. So I think that the, whereas with this one, these angles shifted, with this one, I think that it's going to be skewed the opposite way. So we're going to take the top element, which is going to be this one with the background color of red, so this guy, and we're going to skew along its y-axis with negative 10 degrees. So transform, skew, y, negative 10, deg, semicolon. Ah, uh, instead of ski, I should say skew. Boing! Perfect. Um, that's it. Uh, let's run the test, see how it works. That's it. Okay. Uh, I don't see this one a whole lot. I don't know how much I can really add to it. Uh, I think that people can get intensely uh, good at CSS tricks, and uh, it's just not really my main thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you later.